used to watching the breakfast. Now, with the daily rise of COVID-19 cases worldwide and in Africa specifically, the question of if and when should schools reopen have been a bugging question in the minds of many. Consequently, the World Health Organization held a webinar to discuss the social and economic impact of COVID-19 on education system. Plus TV's correspondent Isamel Mokai has the details. It's a virtual gathering of journalists and health officials all over the world. They are meeting with the World Health Organization for an online press briefing on COVID-19 in Africa. Here, the fate of children and their education during the global pandemic is at the front burner. I think keeping children away also further expose them to risks that are known, risk of being emotionally, physically, and even to a certain extent sexually abused. That is clear indication of things that we are seeing. All the monitoring system we have set online and direct monitoring are showing an increased number of children or increased report of children who are facing abuses or children or even teenage pregnancy in many countries. According to Dr. Mohamed Malik, UNICEF Regional Director for Eastern and Southern Africa, over 140 million children are at risk of being education deprived. He advocates for the resumption of schools to reverse the forecast. Measures are taken to reopen slowly um, from business to travel, different work of life which impact on the economy. And I think those sectors involve more adults that are having higher risk than, for example, children, as I said earlier. World Health Organization Regional Director for Africa, Mashidi Somoretti, recommends safety guidelines for the reopening of schools in Africa. As we move forward, a collective effort is needed to shield older people and those with underlying illnesses. And we can do this by wearing masks, washing our hands frequently, and keeping a distance from each other. The COVID-19 threat and lockdowns has further threatened education in Nigeria. A country UNICEF says has the highest number of out-of-school children in the world prompting the call to action by global stakeholders. Reporting for Plus TV Africa, Iseme Omohai.